Okay, so my partner today, this is Silas, and we're going to be uh, doing some sledding. But for our 10 rules, number 10 is the kind of sled. So we're going to show you some sleds, and then we'll, we'll demonstrate them, okay? So number 10 is have a good sled. And then, so we got the kind that we, we waxed before we left the house. This is just an old plastic saucer. And these are good because you can spin in different directions, and they go pretty fast. This one is, what do you call this one, Silas? Yay. It's got yeah. handles and it's kind of styrofoam, so you don't feel the, the bumps as bad, right? Yeah, and it then just goes fast. It, it go, these go fast, okay. And then I see over here, somebody's got one that's got rails on it. And this is kind of like what I used to see when I was a kid, but it, this one's a little special. It's got a steering wheel. Now, when I was a kid, they would have like metal runners and then wood across the middle, and those were really fast. So there's all kinds of different sleds. They're all fun. The, the point is to get out and use what you got, right? Okay, so which one's your favorite? Um, probably one of those, like, long sleds. The long plastic kind? Uh-huh. So like this, but longer? Yeah. Okay, and do you have one of those? Uh, yeah. Okay, you want to try that one first? Uh, sure. Okay, let's do that. All right, so for rule number nine, this starts before you ever leave the house. And what this is, is this is waxing the sled. So I'll flip you around and show you kind of what we want to do. So your surface, uh, you want it to be slick. And there's a couple ways you can go about it. You could take like some used motor oil. Uh, everybody's got some cooking oil. There's different things and you're just going to rub it on so it's nice and slick. What I like to do, uh, you could use car wax, you know, like a paste. If you want to wax some on, wax off, uh, Mr. Miyagi style, you know, wax on, wax off. But I've got this spray wax, and what I like to do, is I'll just spray it on there and and leave it. I just let it dry on there. There's no no reason to uh, have to wipe it off. Just like that. And it's gonna be nice and slick. So when we get out there, it'll be nice and slick and we're ready to go. Okay, rule number eight is do not take snacks, okay? You don't want them filling up and wanting to stay here even longer. Uh, the temperature right now is like 17 degrees, so you wanna make this as quick a trip as you can. Uh, so do not take snacks. Uh, I've never seen a kid that played their self to, till they starved to death, okay? When they get hungry, they're gonna be ready to go home. So don't worry about them getting hungry. They'll, they'll be fine. Number eight, do not take snacks. Rule number seven is do not take friends. If the neighbors want to go, make their parents take them. If you take friends, they're going to want to stay longer. Okay, they're going to have a lot more fun. Uh, another thing is the friends might bring snacks, you know, and the snacks are, that's rule, a rule you don't want to break. Also, the parents may just not know all the other rules. So rule number seven, do not take friends. Oh, plus there's plenty of kids out here to play with. So just play with the ones that are here. You know, when I was young, we used to go up and knock on the neighbor's door. The parents would come to the door and we'd ask, you know, is Jared home? And they'd say, yeah, come on in or hang on, I'll go get him, something like that. That really doesn't happen today anymore. So get out here and meet some new people. Number seven, do not take friends. Okay, dry feet, very important. It's number six, but it's it should be higher on the list. So what you see is when you step in the snow and you got just shoes or leather shoes, uh, you get snow stuck to them. 
Well, that snow is going to melt and your feet are going to get wet. So what you want are some rubber boots. Rubber boots are more important than a warm coat, in my opinion. So uh, if you got rubber boots, get those on. Keep your feet dry. When, you're, when your feet get cold, your whole body gets cold. So that's tip number six, dry feet. And by the way, you don't want to forget tall socks, a uh, good pair of thick socks. Uh, just so you know, I've got the Cookie Monster on today. So uh, these are Bomba socks. Every time you buy a pair of Bomba socks, they donate a pair to homeless shelters. So uh, good thick dry socks also goes with number six, dry feet. Okay, tip number five, and this one's pretty important. You wanna bring hot coffee, okay? Because what you're going for is you're gonna warm yourself from the inside. Uh, as long as your core stays warm, you're gonna stay warm. So uh, hot coffee, hot chocolate, anything like that warm, pour that in, uh, keep yourself warm. Now, here's, here's the thing. Do not share this with the kids. You gotta stay warmer than the kids. If you're gonna have fun, you gotta stay warmer than the kids. You want them to be ready before to go home before you're ready to go home. So hot coffee, tip number five. Okay, next is rule number four. Uh, rule number four, dads and even some moms, you're not as young as you used to be, okay? So what's that mean? It means be smart. Let the kids do the tricks. Don't do the tricks, okay? Rule number four, you're not as young as you used to be. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> Binging it. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you ah. Okay, we're down to Dang it, my fingers are too cold to touch this to make the touch screen work. Okay, rule number three. Ready for this one? Drunk dad is fun.
Okay, rule number two, and this is the second most important, I guess, right? So, number two, make it fun. You're out here for the kids, right? Don't don't bog them down with a bunch of rules like, oh, you gotta do this, and you gotta go backwards, and you gotta do this, and we gotta hurry up so we can get to this place. Make it fun. Come out here with them. You want them to enjoy their self. This is sledding. This is what kids do. Get out and have fun. So, make you're making memories. Make them good ones, okay? Get out here. Number two, make it fun for the kids. Okay guys, we made it to number one. And since you stuck around, how about hitting that subscribe button? We'd love to have you back and let you see all the fun stuff we do. Now, number one rule for taking your kid's sled and surviving is dress warmer than the kid, okay? The kid is not gonna stay out here until they freeze to death. When they get cold, they're gonna be ready to go home. You're out here, you're making memories. I Honestly, I watched a lady earlier drag her kid her little girl crying to the car because mom was ready to go home she was cold number one rule dress warmer than the kid it's it's important stay as long as you can but have fun while you're here the kid has fun when they're ready to go you're ready to go they won't forget it we thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed please do we'll see you on the next one bye So, what do you want to do? You want to go over that ramp one more time? No, let's go home. Let's stay no. five more minutes. <laughs> no. Five more minutes. We'll go over the ramp two or three no. more times. I'll pass. Are you cold? Uh, yeah. Are you hungry? No. Nah. You're not hungry. Are you wet? No. You just, you're just ready to go? Yes. All right. Let's go.